Hey guys, it's James, back with my first real Scootaloos video in a very long time. I'm really excited to be bringing you content again. I'm also excited to be revisiting the Equestria Girls trilogy of feature films, first debuting in 2013 and ending in 2015. Despite this ending of the trilogy, the Equestria Girls brand still continues to this day. In this video, I'll be telling you what I think of the first movie, simply titled Equestria Girls. I won't go over the plot in extensive detail, but I'll give you a synopsis. A pony by the name of Sunset Shimmer steals Princess Twilight's crown and escapes through a portal to an alternate universe where everybody is humanoid and attending a high school. How convenient. Twilight and Spike chase through the portal and find alternate versions of the main six, minus Twilight of course. Together they get the crown back and set everything right. Also there's Flash Sentry, but I'll touch on him later. First I'm going to touch on the music, which is a big center point for Equestria Girls. And with Daniel Ingram at the helm, what did you honestly expect? The music is superb. It's not too different from the soundtrack in Friendship is Magic, but it doesn't have to be. This is the same universe after all. My favorite track is This Is Our Big Night, sung near the end of the movie, after the dramatic defeat of Sunset Shimmer. I also quite like the opening theme remix played at the beginning. Now let's look at the animation. It's a little generic, it just feels like basic Adobe Animate style animation. Little really caught my eye as cool or unique in the visuals. I like the overall style, I just think it's a bit simple sometimes. On another note, character design is really good in my opinion. Every character looks and feels different from any other character in the movie. Now let me address the characters themselves. There are really only two big characters, Sunset Shimmer and Twilight Sparkle. Everyone else doesn't play any kind of important role in the plot, except for a certain Flash Sentry, but again, I'll get to him in a bit. The plot in this movie is kind of basic. There are certain things that hinder Twilight's winning of the Fall Formal and getting her crown back, but only one of these really feels imperative. I'm referring to when Sunset and her cronies, Snips and Snails, ruin the decorations for the Fall Formal the day it's supposed to happen. Twilight and what seems like the entire school fix up the gym in time for the Formal, which makes for a cool scene. Okay, it's time to look at Flash now, I guess. I hate Flash Sentry in this movie. He serves no purpose but to be the obligatory love interest for the main character. Seems most people agree with me as well. He gets better as the trilogy moves forward, but in the original, he's just awful. So I suppose I was wrong in my original review when I said this movie was a heaping pile of crap. After looking at it again, I saw that the original Equestria Girls is an okay movie. Not the best, and probably the worst of the trilogy, but it's okay. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's cool to watch, but mostly for the sake of looking back and seeing how far we've come. This is James, signing off until next time.